And it's very important when you're choosing your pegs or your laundry. Nantoka. <laughs> Stacy, personally speaking, why don't you join me? Hi everybody, it's Stacy, personally speaking. Yes, I'm still in Japan. And I'm just doing a quick video to talk about laundry paraphernalia here in Japan. Stick around. So this is my line or hanging area outside. You can see I have a pole. I have a pole with these hooks where I hang hang the hangers. I put the hangers through here. Some poles don't have any of these metal hooks. Um, yeah, and this is also useful for hanging the hangers in as well and that prevents the clothes from sliding all over on the pole if your pole doesn't have this and um, it's very very useful trust me you will want to get something that's similar and I can also use clothes pegs on this so it's very very handy um, to have that I can show you my neighbors which is below me he's using just the, um, the rope type and my other neighbor over there has the pole type with the hooks as well some neighbors have nothing and hey that's fine they just hook the hangers into these which they probably shouldn't do but they're not washing that much anyway there are also some other things that are used for hanging which i will show you in a bit so this is something that is used for hanging outside which we are quite familiar with in jamaica but here in japan they come in a wide range of shapes and sizes some can be closed up like umbrellas and so on i actually have two of these all right so here you can hook it over the pole i mean you can even hook it on the rope and i sometimes hook it on the projected bar as well depending on the space right okay so what really prompted me to do this video however were clothespins or laundry pegs whatever we want to call them okay so we have from our standard clothespin and this is just in my area um, things that I've gotten from the 100 yen, 100 yen store or gotten from other persons. All right, so this one, the resistance is quite nice. I really like it. The resistance is quite nice and it makes for a firmer hold. It makes for a much firmer hold compared to this one. The resistance is not as firm. It is smoother, as you can see here. So it doesn't have that grip which this one has on the inside which comes in quite handy so well of course these are also useful but not as strong as these that require more effort it can get really windy here in japan now there are these bigger types which fit over the pole these fit over the pole and the resistance is great love these these have two springs and it's very important when you're choosing your pegs or your laundry nantoka <laughs> your laundry hooks i guess this is a peg i don't know um that the resistance is good and the thing is when you're buying them in the 100 yen store or wherever you buy them you can't get to test them first because they are packaged so that's why i really decided to do this video I had bought these first and I had bought them because there were more in the pack of this type than in the pack of this type. This type I think came with three while this one came with six. That's why it's not always good to buy cheap, right? So it, it wasn't cheap, but the quantity really um, had dictated at the time. But this, it doesn't have that hole, that... um. It goes over the pole as well so for light clothing it is quite fine or towels or so but 
this one really keeps things in place and even when the breeze blows um, it holds it firmly in place and of course they come in all different colors right now this big one this is used for blankets futons anything that is much thicker right a duvet anything that's thick and the resistance is quite nice but as you can imagine it's longer you can work out the um the physics there what the kind of resistance is like so this one is actually more taut but it's smaller you see this one it still works pretty well but i don't need it per se because i no longer sleep on a futon but i do use it during the winter time to help to hold my blankets but these are fine for holding my blankets um and i have about six of these so i don't really use these but i had gotten these um and on top of that i don't really have a balcony where i can throw the blankets over and then clip this onto the rail which is what most japanese households do and so that is pretty much it for this video i just wanted you to know the kind of things that happen concerning laundry putting things how do you get your clothes outside most people put them on hangers and then put them on the poles or the rope as well as you can do the regular thing and pin them on but there isn't that much space <laughs> here in japan there isn't that much space especially if you live in a regular apartment um there isn't usually a yard with you know that really big clothesline that we're used to in jamaica so thanks for checking it out this is stacy personally speaking so just a quick follow-up since i had some laundry going um this is how we do it of course if you have a lot more clothes you know what to do there i got my little hanging thing yeah, whatever they want to call it yeah that's how we do it that's how we do it i never have clothes to fill this entire thing nope i'm me alone <laughs> thank you for checking out that video um this is stacy personally speaking Happy laundering. Like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Put a comment below this. Check out the description.